guys, Kai here from Website Builders Critic. Today I'm going to show you how to build a personal branding website using Strikingly, which is a platform for building mobile friendly one page websites. Here I'm at the home page. All I need to do to sign up is give them my first name, an email, and a password. I can also sign in with Facebook if I want. I'm going to click Get Started. And this brings me to the template selection screen. I'm going to just go down here and go for Persona to start editing pretty good theme for personal branding websites although they have a few other ones as well just wait for it to load my theme no thank you and there is the striking editor on the left there as you can see there's a whole list of options uh, it is a one-page website and all strikingly themes are one-page websites um, to edit stuff you just need to hover over them and click the edit button and that works for pretty much every image and text box there is as you can see as I scroll down, the editor scrolls down with me, the little yellow, yellow box. So it just shows me where I am. I'm going to go straight to the top now and get started on building my website. Now the first thing I want to do is change the title here. So I'm going to hover over and click edit. A page about me. So Kaya is smile. Save. You can see that's very easy to do. I'm also going to change this little subtitle here. Um, I'll make this about paintings. So Stirat is paintings and save again very easy um, this background header here uh, this picture of this gentleman can be changed by clicking this background image um, I think I'll go for yeah that's pretty cool obviously I can upload my, my own ones by clicking more and going over to the upload new image uploaded images are there as well but I think I'm happy with that current one so I'm going to click save again I can also change this picture here uh, I don't have a current picture to add, but if you wanted to, you can. Uh, next up, I'm going to get rid of some of these extra example pages here. So I'm going to go ahead to the um, editor, click on the page I want, or this section, should I say, I want to get rid of, and click the X button, delete this section. I'm going to do the same for this one and this one. That leaves me with three sections to my website, uh, which I think is a good, good amount to go with. Now next I want to edit my about section, so I'm going to scroll down here to the text and click edit and I have some text prepared and I'll just copy and paste that into place. As you can see it's nice and simple text editor here, uh, I can add links if I like but I'm happy with that as it is, I'm going to click save. The section further down is called watch him dance, I want to change that up, I want to change the background first of all, so I'll click background and I'll select this one and save. I also want to rename it to Watch Him Paint, so I'll click the Watch Him Dance title over here on the editor, rename, and then click save, and you can see that's also changed on the menu here automatically. So you can embed uh, YouTube images here, so what I'm going to do is click edit, and I'm going to grab a few speed painting URLs, add, and save. And I'll do the same for here. And save. And there's my two YouTube images, uh, YouTube videos, sorry. And I'll get rid of these two for time's sake. I can also add some text here, as you can see. New York City. space painting and save again it just allows you to give us a small caption and I can add more stuff here if I want to uh, scrolling down where to find him and again the background can also be changed but I think I'll leave it as it is I quite like that blue and here are some social buttons which obviously you can click edit and the URL here can be changed And the same goes for, for all the others there. Now to put some finishing touches on this strikingly website, I'm going to check out some styles. And each theme has some uh, preset styles. So Persona is the default one here. I can go for Neon and also it's clear. I think I like Neon, so I'm going to click Neon and save. As you can see, some fonts have changed here. And some colors have also changed as well. 
Also, if I go to the settings, here is where I can change my page title or site title uh, and also my site URL. Uh, free users will get a strikingly subdomain, but premium users can get their own domain as well. If I go to descriptions, this is where uh, SEO is dealt with. So you can choose a site category, have a site description, keywords, um, configure favicons and Facebook sharing images. Uh, custom domain can also be registered here. And there's also mobile actions for premium members to add mobile specific uh, features like calling, texting, finding directions and so forth. And if you go down here to the advanced tab, you can um, set things for the, the header and the footer, for, so displaying where the navigation bar should be, for example. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff too to, to tinker with, but it's, that's all more sort of advanced. Other than that, click done. And you can also go here, click publish. Unlike some other website builders, you can actually publish your page for free with Strikingly. I'm going to click publish now after I click a category. And there's my published Strikingly website. So I'll open that in a new URL and check out how it looks. And there it is. Pretty cool. So that's how you create a personal branding website with Strikingly. If you found this video helpful, please share using the share tab below and check out our channel for further tutorials. Thanks for watching.